Coming up on this episode of Not So Clueless, we have all the trending stories that have brought a smile to my face this morning, this morning being the 14th of March 2023. So expect to hear an adorable penguin that goes out to sea. Michael Caine turns nighter. What national day is it today? What did they eat at the Oscars? And Kei Kwan's adorable Oscar winning speech. That's all what we're going to be talking about today because the world is filled with quite frankly depressing news and I'm tired of it. So we're going to be flipping that on its side. We're going to start off with the adorable penguin story. This comes from Reddit and I won't call it necessarily trending of today but hey 19 hours ago it was uploaded. 45 thousand upvotes and it's titled little penguin makes a difficult decision to embrace independence and adventure to the vast ocean and it is just an adorable way to start your day is to watch this little video so i will put it on the screen and you can watch it it's just an adorable penguin doing adorable penguin things look at it it's going out to sea it's so nervous it's so nervous with its little self. It's looking at the water. It's looking back at its handler. It kind of waddles over a bit. As soon as the water gets close to it, it's like, oh, gets a bit scared. Touches the water a little bit. And then, boom, boost the confidence. And it's right out there. Look at a big wave. Confident penguin. Confident penguin. I just love it. What an adorable way to start your day. Moving on, it's Michael Caine's birthday. right? Happy birthday, Michael Caine. 90 years old today would you believe it what an absolute hero what a legend and to celebrate this achievement of sir michael kane reaching his 90th birthday and still looking fit as a fiddle we have this coin mosaic portrait which marks his birthday and was created by a manchester based artist so the artist is named ed Ch Hartman and says, I chose to make Sir Michael Caine using Euro one cents as they are smaller than pennies so I can create more detail as a sort of nod to Caine's film, The Italian Job, where gold was taken in Europe. And look at it, looks fantastic. So this is a double good story. A Manchester artist gets his just desserts, he gets a bit of recognition, represent, and also Michael Caine turns nighter. How beautiful of a story is that? Now, on to what national day it is today. And there is two. First of all, it's National Potato Chip Day. So grab yourself some crisp and indulge. It only comes around once a year after all. Also, it is International Ask a Question Day. I feel like a lot of time we ask questions. It's seen as a bad thing. You ask too many questions. That kid asks too many questions. Why are you asking too many questions? I'm sick of it. We should all be allowed to ask questions, no matter how silly we think they are. And as it is both National Potato Chip Day and International Ask a Question Day, I'm going to ask you, what's your favourite flavour of crisp or potato chips if you live in that side of the world? What's your favourite? Let me know down below. Personally, I love a cheese and onion. I really do. You can't go wrong. And lastly, it's all about the Oscars. First of all, what do they eat at the Oscars? Well, interestingly enough, I saw this post floating around. Here's one from Jimmy Kimmel's Twitter, where he says, we don't like it when people are hungry. So Jimmy provided snacks for everyone at the Oscars, which included a donation to the LA Food Bank for each one. And it's got a little note on there from Jimmy that says, isn't this a nice surprise? P.S. A donation in my name has been given to the LA Regional Food Bank. So that's that's really adorable. And that's what they was eating. What is in the pack, you ask? Well, let me tell you once I can find it. Here we are. Attendancies were treated to a bottle of water, hydration, ever so nice, candy like good and plenty. Don't know what that is. Sounds delicious. Milk duds or hot tamales. I've never had a hot tamale, but I understand that it's quite a popular American treat a confection of american descent of some sort but i've had a milk dud and that was nice and it also had a soft philly style pretzel from actor adam shapiro's sheppy pretzel co which looks absolutely delicious and you even got some photos there of delicious carbs for the oscar audience being mixed up thank you sheppy shaps look at it looks delicious that's what they were eating 
And the final story is just that of Ke Hyo Kwon's Oscar speech, which was absolutely adorable. I don't think I can play it, but you've probably all seen it now. Anyway, if you've not watched it live, you've probably re-watched it. Technically, this is a trending story of yesterday, but it's still coming on in. People are still talking about it. So I thought I would pipe up and say a little bit of summer at summer. I thought it was delightful. I really loved the guy in Everything Everywhere All At Once. And I also loved the guy in The Goonies. So it's great to see him really get what he deserves, which is the Oscar, sort of speak. And speaking of The Goonies, one thing that I did notice that in his speech, he thanked his Goonie brother for life, Jeff Cohen. Now, for people who don't know, Jeff Cohen played Chunk in The Goonies and was a favourite character of everyone. Now, I actually did a video not too long ago about child actors and where they are now, where I mentioned the story of Jeff Cohen because he was so big in The Goonies, he was so favoured and so popular. Yet after that, he didn't really get any roles. You know, it was said he like he was a really natural actor, he was really good at it, but no one wanted to hire him. Partly because he was so successful in The Goonies, partly because he grew up. But he kind of took that in stride and he went to law school, he got his degree, and instead he started working as a lawyer for the entertainment industry. And here's where it gets super interesting, is obviously they were both in The Goonies together, but Jeff Cohen is actually Kwan's lawyer and negotiated his deal for everything, everywhere, all at once. So it all comes around, which is why he thanked him. And we even got a picture of both of them together, which I'll put here. I'll also try and get a picture of both of them when they was in the Goonies. So the way it came around is just absolutely amazing and just a nostalgic thrill for everyone just to know that Chunk himself was involved in negotiating his part in everything all at once which is just a delight. And they're my favourite stories of today. Not that much in the good news sphere has been kicking off. It's all filled with terrible news about terrible people. So I hope this little slice of happiness has just perked you up a little bit today. And like I said, let me know what you think on those crests because I'd really like to know. Get some recommendations for later.